Good Monday, everyone. How's everybody doing? What do we got going over here? Uh, are we testing an amp just to see if it works or not? Yeah? yeah. Does it work? I'm trying to. Yeah. Yeah? Seems like it works. Yeah, seems like it works. Awesome. Perfect. So what are we going to do with this amp that the customer brought in? Um, yeah, I would install this amp. <laughs> what are we going to install it in, Fernando? Yeah. Flip the phone. You told me to flip the phone. I flipped it. Now what? Now it's looking at both of us. Yeah. All right. So let me flip it back the other way. Oh. A little late in the day Monday, sorry, it's been a uh, noisy afternoon. If you can come out back here, you can hear the weed eater in the background. That's been uh, going all day, so it's been making it hard for us to uh, film. But we have a customer's Mustang here. They've had us previously install this amplifier. Look at this bad boy. For all you car guys out there, look at that. Yeah. I'm not a car guy, so it does not impress me, but I know it will impress some of you. We're going to be putting in a Mustang box with this Auto Tech amplifier with an 8 gauge kit because this amp really doesn't need anything. Pack high to low. We're actually going to be taking the kicker subs out of this box. This was all on his other car. He got this new car. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Now, for all you guys with Mustangs, obviously we want to do a helpful hint here. So for all you guys with Mustangs, hang on, let me grab a light. All right, we're gonna do a video on these real soon. So these are awesome lights. Let's go down here. So if you've got these factory subwoofers on your door, obviously you have a factory deck, you're gonna wanna tap in. Let me turn this bad boy here. See that plug right there? These two guys right here, this one and the one over there, those are the factory door amplifiers. This is where you want to tap in your high level to low levels down here so that you get sub bass. You don't want to go behind the radio. There's really no need. It's not going to give you anything. So that's our helpful hint for the day. We'll go ahead and include the finished video on this one in the end of the week wrap up that we do. Would you like to say hi to everyone? Hello. <laughs> hi. Hey there everyone, and we're live. What is today? Today is? Today is Tuesday. Okay, good. Yes. So, today is Tuesday. Last night was the Facebook Live Show. We hope you all enjoyed that. Yeah. There was something I was thinking about that, and I don't remember what it was. Oh! What, yeah, not to do anything with Facebook Live, but uh, we put up yesterday, we put up the 9903-893S DD1 review. Yeah. And... Naturally, you guys liked it, and thank you very much, but everyone wants to see more radios done on, more distortion detections done on pretty much every radio. Okay. So, what we're going to start doing is I think we're just going to make that a segment where we have radios DD1. So, I think it's going to get its own playlist now, because uh, there was enough people that asked about the DD1 test. So, oh, sorry, Fernando. Uh, so yeah, I think I, I printed up a sheet this morning so that we can kind of like old school car stereo it up where we write in all the numbers. Okay. And uh, so we're going to make that its own little segment. So DD1 radio tests are going to going to get a day on the uh, on the it's gonna interwebs. Get their own show. It's going to get its own. Well, it's not going to get its own show because <laughs> we're not making another channel. We're just filling up the days that we do this so that you know whatever. So yeah. So into the day, what do we got going on today? What do we what do we have here? This is a Range Rover. This is a Range Rover, Land Rover, Range Rover. Yeah. And uh, what this guy's doing is he's going with these bad boys right here. Hold on, let me oh, do man. this. He's going with two of the CVX 12V2s. So the people can't see it. All right. Guess we should have done this beforehand. I know. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Thanks for chiming in. All right. 
Now we don't do a lot of these where people get super SPL crazy on us. It's not not like our thing, but we did his girlfriend's car and he really wanted these, so uh, he ordered a box from a guy in Miami that I guess makes big SPL boxes. Yeah, and of course the car audio we carry, so for those of you who've never seen his EVX. The speaker is bigger than me. It's because you're small. SMO. Name the movie. There you go. Come on. So we got two of these going in. These guys here. There you go. So that's a big guy. Stand next to it so we can get perspective. See, it's almost high. As... <laughs> that's my son. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, there you go. So. So we just put the seat back in. We had yes. the seat out. That's why this is yeah, draped we over the door because we had to protect it. And that's why there's no seat cover on that. If you're wondering. This is the uh, wire right here. Yeah, we got, uh, it's going to be hard to see. We got zero gauge. Naturally, we're putting a second battery in. Yeah, and we'll uh, right there. Oh, no, I saw it. I saw right. it. It's all good. We're putting this monster amplifier in here. This is laying like this. This is a bracket that's going to bolt down to the factory. Um, Cargo mounts, these guys here, we're using yeah. these screws, so this will mount over here to this panel. So we're in the process of running here, you can shine a light in there. So we're in the process of, of getting the wiring ran, there's going to be a battery over on battery this, side. this side. Yeah. Now it's cool, it, okay, so if any of you guys are, are ever have to work on one of these, this is where the subwoofers are, up here in the back door. Right here. Uh, and they're little crappy subwoofers that typically always blow, and the wiring form is located right here right here so there's two greens and green with blacks twisted yeah. together so green and then green with black twisted in pairs uh we put disconnects on them because we want to be able to hook them back up to the factory at some point if he ever decides to take all this nonsense out uh, and that's the surfboard so what we're going to have is big fuse holder under the hood yeah two big fuse holders back here zero gauge running along there's a stinger yep and that's it so that's 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 what's going on in this. This is the box. Oh yeah, you guys. This, this is somebody in Miami made this for him. I, I don't know, but I, you know, you guys like to see all this stuff. So they did a really nice job. Yeah, yeah. Um, you have there. So that's that's the box he bought, and it snugs up in there. He wants the amp mounted on the side because he told us flat out. He goes, I want to be able to get to the controls. So we kind of know he's going to be playing with the amp. It's what it is. No big deal there. So that's what we got going on at the moment right now. And of course. If you guys watch it this weekend, we'll have the after shots of the finished product. Yeah. So uh, that's the new weekly vlog that we're trying to put up on Sunday, Saturday night, Sunday sometime. You know, it's more or less when I have time to edit it. Anything you got? Yes, sir. You know what? You got grab that loom. So you guys have all seen the uh, the cool Chinese finger torture loom we do. This is another version of it. This is pretty cool. So it's a split, okay. So it's a split loom version of it. Yeah. So it's still the same Chinese finger torture mesh, but it's split down the center. So it's easy to put the wire on. So like for this, we have the big zero gauge. It's really mm -hmm. hard to snake 18 feet of zero gauge through yeah. this Chinese finger stuff. So with this stuff, you get the same look, the same protection, and it just goes on like regular loom. Oh, so sexy, so sexy. All right, guys. Well, I think that's it for today. You got anything else you want to say? Uh, no, sir. Thank you for tomorrow. watching. Yeah. Uh. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. And, of course, look forward to this weekend. Not that we need to remind you. We'll have the after shots yeah. in that video. So you can easily service it. The fuse comes right off. Cubes came back? Yeah. No, no, you don't I, say he came I, back. I think people need to know what the Luma Cubes Oh, hey! Hey guys, how you doing? Luma Cubes. Wait and see. Those are our cool little square balls of light that we like so much. So what we got going on here today is another Jeep. Florida is filled with Jeeps, and this is no different. 
This, well, it is different because this one isn't a four door. When's the last time we haven't worked on a four door? No, that's the I only mean, time. Yeah. yeah. So this customer wants to keep his factory sub location. That's his factory sub. We're actually going to swap it out um, with the uh, Rockford P3 sub. We've never done this before. We've always put in a real sub. Yeah. Um, oh, don't want to have to get too close. So we're gonna, this actually fits in there perfect. Yes. We did have to trim the factory grill a little bit, no big deal. Yeah. But yeah, so we're also dynamating the inside of the plastic so that it's not as ringy. You know, we're doing the best that we can with, with that. The other thing too is he's also, the cool thing about Rockford, that we talk about the punch speakers all the time, yeah. right? So Rockford makes, in the punch line, they make three different sizes. They make a six, a six and a half, and a six and three quarters. And if any of you guys have ever done a Jeep, they always have those silly three hole speakers. The cool thing is, is if you go up to the punch six and three quarters, it fits right in. You don't have to add in any of that silly, uh, you know, these these brackets over here. I don't want to get one of right here. You got one? Oh. We have that. tons. <laughs> Quiet. So like most of the time with a Jeep, you have to add these things in. These are the cool little three holes. Yeah. But when you go up to the three quarter inch punch speaker, you Even don't have to it. do that. And they fit in the top and the bottom. So by bottom, I mean, you know, these guys, the sound bars, you can fit the three quarters, they screw right in, all good to go. Of course, we replaced the tweeters, as you can see way over there. It's got the cool little punch logo. Yeah. PIA for sure. Um, he's going with some GPS. He's getting a, somewhere around here is the, yep, here we go. Here's the Kenwood 893. 893. Um, of course, you know, we've modified this to look good because uh, out of the box they look like crap. And if you've seen our Jeep video, you see how we do it. Sirius What's up, XM? guys? What's up? Yeah, he's retaining his Sirius XM. Yeah. You know, if you guys watch our channel, you know we've done a Jeep. We've got a bunch of Jeep videos up there. So nothing, nothing extraordinary. Uh, to see there. The only difference is like today, a lot of the times in the Jeep now we switch to this amp, which is the uh, Kenwood, where's the model number? Oh, it's a KAC M805. Yeah, and that's just the marine version of the 5 channel, uh, which we've reviewed before. It's got these cool little things to put over the uh, little buttons in the back to keep moisture out, and of course we've made our cool little ABS. What's different is we're mounting underneath the driver's seat. We typically go underneath the passenger seat with this, but because it has the factory amplified system and the amplifier is located right there, uh, it's just more convenient to mount it right here. Yeah. And of course we retain the factory USB and all of that. Yeah, it's been a fun morning. We had a fun one this morning. A uh, guy came in with a caravan and it was killing his battery. And what was happening is when he turned the key all the way off, which he thought was all the way off, it, 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 if you guys are familiar with older cars where you have, you know, when you start the car, you have accessory, and then you have start and run, or run, start, you know, whatever those. And then you could always turn the key back and yeah. get a, uh, an, an accessory. Yeah. He was turning his car all the way to accessory and um, pulling his key out because his key was stripped, the ignition was stripped. Anyways, he turned the key back, and pull the key out. And of course, it ding, 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 ding. The radio would stay on. So he thought the radio was bad because he'd pull the key out. Yeah. And uh, it just turned out he didn't know how to turn on and off his car. It was right. kind, of, kind of silly. Um, but but we, we don't replace the radio. Yes. We replace speakers. Yeah, speakers were crap. Yeah. So, so we just put some new speakers in instead. Right. So it was all good in the end. But yeah, he'd been driving around for weeks killing his battery every night. Wow, that was good. Where's the hood at? Uh, Eric just asked, where's the hood at? Okay, so... This is a Jeep and it looks like it's in an accident. The cool thing about a Jeep is that the hinges will flip all the way. Yeah. So what we do is Let me put that. What we do is we put a, a piece of carpet on the roof there to insulate it against the uh, you know, so nothing gets scratched. And then you can lift the hood all the way flat so it makes working on the car the sexiest thing awesome. ever. Like this. Yeah, you it's right like here. it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> John, key to the back is really old school. Yeah, yeah, it is old school. It was an older caravan, but he was happy. He was happy. He's like, man, I didn't realize it did that. He just bought the car, so it was kind of amusing. But yeah, no, so that's, that's it. you guys with Jeeps, if you didn't know your hood would go all the way up, you just got to make sure you put something, yeah, something so up there to the scratch thing. it. You know, the other funny thing about Jeeps is this thing right here. Because, you know, a lot of this, the door opens this far. Yeah. And 
what happens is a lot of people unclip the cool little felt thing right there uh -huh. and then open the door all the way up and it smashes right into here. So whenever you're doing a Jeep, if you do that, you have to make sure that you either insulate this area here with something or put a stopper. You know, we typically put one of our bar stools here so that there's no way for the Jeep to open the door all the way up when we have to. Uh, or unclip and take the door out. Or we just take the doors off, which Jeep doors are surprisingly heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and we put them up front in the waiting room where it's nice padding yes. and carpet. Today is, what's today? Today is... Today is Wednesday. Which I should have mentioned at the beginning of the show so that when I edit these this weekend, I don't know what the heck day it is. <laughs> hump day! Mike, 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 Mike! <laughs> what day is it? All right, I was reading well, that. I'll, 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 I'll read it later. Uh, I'll read it later. No. Don't worry about it. Oh, Never mind. There you go. Video so, only modes. Oh, hey, didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Fernando's playing with the screen. All right, guys, we're going to let you guys go. Trying to put this back. Yeah? Yeah. Should have taken it off in the first place. There you go. Well, good Thursday afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is our daily input onto the yeah. Facebook Live vlog that goes up every Saturday or Sunday whenever I get around to editing it. Yeah. Um, we're working on STI Subaru WRX, as you saw from the cool intercooler there all you guys know what these bad boys are basically all we're doing today for this guy is we're putting in this thing right here which is an alpine mono block 500 by one this little dude yeah. high level input whatnot this is going to mount underneath the seats now the cool thing about this is this had this cool little brace it's going to sit right here there's two bolts and where that goes is uh, up underneath the seat here oh, hang on let me grab this cool light so that goes right there. There's two bolts, which I cannot get a good angle on. Yeah, they're underneath. Anyways, there's two bolts, so this amp will screw right in there. Now, when you're working on one of these STIs, this is the this is the fun right here. See that? Those are the brake lines. So those brake lines, they, they're one of the only car manufacturers I've ever seen that runs the brake lines inside the car. These are they're not plastic, these are metal. So when you're working on one of these, you want to make sure you're, you're careful to not get anywhere near these or hurt them or accidentally uh, screw into them or <laughs> do anything silly like that. Hondas, the Civics, they like to put theirs actually right underneath the seat pan there. That's one of the things that made us start actually making these mounts for these seats was the Honda Civics because remember we were like, what the hell? Yeah. So way to go, Honda. So this is a customer's system. They brought it in. We do a lot of that. Uh, we, well, they actually bought it from us a couple years back. This is their new ride. So they have these two little kicker comp R tens and a sealed box because they don't want the bigger ported box. To each his own, you know. Um, so what else we got going on here? Did the STS this morning? Yeah, they had a lot. So it's Thursday. You know what? A little bit about Thursday news. Last night uh, or yesterday, we put up the mono amp video uh, where we talked about the uh, the two or four inputs on the amplifier. These things, these these right here. See, and actually, it's funny. These these are the ferrules we use. This is so we can put two wires into each positive and negative. They're a little bit fatter, as you can see on the side there. There's two 16 gauge. Ah, sorry, there's two 16 gauge in those ferrules so that we can have four wires. You guys love that video. It's tracking really well. And then, of course, this morning I put up today's video because one of the viewers asked, how do you pop a tweeter? How do you know what's positive and negative on a tweeter? 
Um, and I put the wrong ending on it. So I had to go back <laughs> and edit it and re-put it up. So there was like nine questions that were asked before uh, I figured that out. One of them was luckily a guy that said, hey, you got the wrong ending on that. So I had to re-edit it, put it back up again. But I'll go back and hit those nine questions. You all right there, Sleepy? Yes, yes. You, know, you need okay. a nappy poo? Uh, Little Sebastian got you up all night? No. Liar. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So that's all. That's so all today's today. today's starting out pretty pretty nice, pretty mellow. Um, we had to do one of those. F oh God, I, we had to put in an access steering wheel control, which yes. immediately puts me in a crappy mood. Yep. We're pack guys, as you guys well know. Uh, unfortunately, in the Cadillac, you have to use a access metro piece, and mm -hmm. it just they're not friends of mine. And, and of course, <laughs> you know, we just don't do well with them. And, uh, but what, what I mean, we figured it out. Works. Yeah, yeah, it all works, but it's just not as smooth and slick as a pack SWIRC is. It's blinking a lot. Why? Yeah. It's blink, 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 blink. Oh, you gotta do it faster. What? No, so, you have to do it slow. No, do, you have to do it fast. Do it fast. Do it slow. Do it fast. Yeah. Do it slow. Oh my god. Um, here, this, this is, this is gonna sit on top of that. This sits okay. on top of that, and then that big wire clips right into it. So Friday tomorrow, um, just a little bit of to be the end of the week for most of you. Um, hope you guys are playing big weekends. I'm not. It's Mother's Day, so spending the day with mom. She was here earlier today. We should have had her in the in the vlog. We didn't. Maybe next time. She's here later. Um, why do I keep saying um? I got to get this um thing pretty much killed, or the so thing. So um uh. Tomorrow we're going to have the Prius video go up. It's kind of a mix between how to find parts that you need for your car as well as install a radio in a Prius. We kind of walk you through all the steps for a modern car. Just, I don't even know what this is. So tomorrow, look forward to that video. I just finished editing it this morning. It's a long one again, but you guys like those, so that's cool. I think we're going to end it here because this is getting kind of like we're just talking to talk. So you guys have a great day today. Oh my gosh, TGIF, TGIF. Now, normally we like to bring you something new, but as you can see from this shiny red object behind me, we got another Jeep. This one's sexy, look at those wheels. Hold on, let me flip this bad boy around. Yeah, we got another Jeep, look at those things. This thing is a monster. Yes, it is. Speaking it's of nice. monsters, what's going on? Yeah. Nothing. We What's have that, another is Jeep. Is that your imitation of the Tasmanian uh, Devil? Uh, you say monster. Anyway, yeah, we have another Jeep. So there's really nothing to talk about as far as Jeep goes because I mean we've we've covered this one. Uh, yes, yeah. Ed says looks like a beast. Yes, this definitely looks like a beast. Thank you, thank you. I look like. I tell you what though, uh, pardon the mess. We're doing a little bit of remodeling, and uh, so what I thought I'd do is I bring you up here. The showroom and the install bay are in a separate part. So we just had this, we're working on remodeling our, our waiting room. So we just had this painted. Um, if you've ever been here, these couches, which you guys have commented on, are typically over here and this TV is usually up here on this wall, really high. So we flipped it around so it makes it easier to see. Um, this guy right here, this is an iPod we mount on the wall and it has a bunch of movies on it so you can sit here and, and watch movies. This is to keep little kids hands off the purple stripper neon that we have behind it. Um, we're going to have a big five star logo put up here. Uh, that's coming hopefully sometime next week so we'll, we'll come back up front here. But this is the little monkey window so this is so you can sit here and watch us work on your car. There's a big glare on it, sorry about that. Um, so it, it makes it kind of easy to so you can keep an eye and make sure we're not doing anything silly to your car. But while we're doing that, the corner of the install bay is kind of trashed. So plastic is piling up as you can see. 
We're making a lot of speaker rings, so that's just kind of a mess right now. And of course, the week has made its way over into here, so this all needs to get cleaned up hopefully by the end of the day in preparation for next week so we can mess it all up again. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Ed writes, gotta have a waiting room. Nothing worse than having a guy hovering over your shoulder telling you about the time he hooked up a Jen in his first friend's car but won't do his own stuff. <laughs> well, funny you should mention, uh, what was it? Yesterday? Maybe Tuesday. I don't know. As you can tell, I kind of get the days all bad. But, uh, what was the guy? The guy, the guy had a problem with his backup camera and he was putting it in a Chrysler or a GMC. Either way, the pack modules use the green wire for reverse output. And of course, Pioneer and Ken would have a purple white wire. So the module also has a purple white wire, but it's for VSS, which is the vehicle speed sense. So he, of course, hooked the purple white to purple white, which makes total sense. And he's like, my camera won't ever shut off. It's, it's doing this. And I read the instructions and I hooked it upright. Help me, help me, help me. And I go out there and I'm like, you said you read the instructions, this is wrong, you have it set for ground instead of positive. We of course reset it, got him back in business, he's like, oh I must not have read that. Mm. I don't know. Bonus. Bonus. RTFM as my wife likes to say. But yeah, so that's, that's always, you know, if you're going to tell somebody read the instruction manual and, and claim the fame that, oh I read the manual, actually have read the manual, don't just, you know, thumb through it, it's kind of important. Just saying. We got one more day this week. We don't film Saturdays, but we are here Saturdays. So I wish we had some like cool technical advice to give you today, but I mean, we, we've we hammered it out of Jeeps, so. Oh yeah, we do tons of Jeeps. I, I, you know, we've got tons of videos. We've showed you pretty much every secret we have on this thing, yeah. so. Well, this morning we have the 2017 Honda Civic. Oh yeah, we should have filmed that. Yeah. That, that would have been cool. Yeah. yeah, a brand new Honda Civic that they yeah. Conveniently stole the grills hand. off of a. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's right. He smashed his hand and tried to say he got snake bit. Got got snake bit. Look at that. We can all have a Fernando pity party. Where's, let's see it. Let's see. Oh, look at that. It That's hurts. like a nine one one right there. Yeah, I have to go to the hospital. Yeah, after this, you got to finish this. Yeah. <laughs> waiting room. The waiting room. Yeah, it's where oh, I just walked. If they remember in the videos. Back, back videos. Well, when we do the Q and A or the uh, question of the weeks, we film them up there. When they used to be like boxes in there. Oh yeah, so yeah. all those boxes are gone, thank God. But that's also why the install bay is kind of a wreck over here because we're yeah. we're in the process of doing a bunch of remodeling next. Now that the waiting rooms first, and then we're going to remodel the showroom, yeah. and then we're going to come back here and we're going to remodel that corner of the of the install bay. <sighs> That'd be so nice. So it's, you know, the summer's, the summer's coming, and in the summer we typically slow down a little bit, and we get time to do these kind of things. Yeah. Right now we've picked, like, the absolute worst time to do any of this stuff, because yeah. yeah. we, abs we have no time. We're actually having to hire people to come paint, because... To do that, yes. Even though, who can't paint? Who's got time? And I know you guys want to go back to your lunch so you can get out of your office work early. Oh, wait a minute. We're getting... We're getting... Look who it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we hope you have a wonderful day. We're going to cut this one off right now. We'll see you guys Monday. All right, we're done. Let's uh, check out the iData link interface. Go to the My Jeep feature. And we can check out the gauges. And we can check out the car status. So here you can see the tire pressure. The doors yeah. are open and closed. Oh, just open the door. How exciting. Perfect. And let's go back to the HD radio. Now, this is an older Kenwood. This isn't one of the newer ones. He already had this unit. He just bought this new snazzy Jeep. He wanted to put his radio back in it, and he's out of here. So, have a great weekend. Be safe.